Hello everyone and welcome to another Michigan Military Technical and Historical Society Museum uh, restoration project video. <clears throat> so today I want to take a little deeper dive into our drive shaft uh, and we're going to call this a learn from uh, my screw ups uh, episode. So if you looked at the previous one, you know, previous videos, we've taken the drive shaft apart and originally we thought we could save the drive shaft itself. But it looks like that's not entirely true. Uh, came down, you know, originally when we first did it, we miked this end, you know, and it measures out with almost with almost nowhere, and it's fairly round, and it looks pretty decent. Uh, drive shaft itself is straight. <clears throat> then we get down here to this end. So uh, we're, we're going to do a little refresher over here, and we're going to look at the ring and pinion. Well, let's, let's start with the, we'll go back up to the front again, and we'll look at the uh, the uh, U-joint. Uh, now we don't even need to get the feeler gauges out. We can, I think you can even see this in the video. Uh, acceptable wear for the manual is six thousandths, and that is uh, that is more like an eighth of an inch, you know. So that is U joint is shot. We got a new U joint. Uh, we talked about the drive shaft bearing previously, uh, but there it is laying there again. So let's kind of give us a little refresher before we go back here. Drive shaft bushing, catastrophic failure. We thought the pinion gear was okay until we got out of the parts washer. And once we cleaned all the gunk off of it, uh, there you go. Uh, catastrophic failure. Uh, ring, the pinion gear, you can see. Uh, it's just, it's got all this uh, mushrooming here on the ends. And then you got all this lovely. Uh, something got in there was just hammering around. So, ring, pinion, you know, and bushing, bad. Ordered all those new. Got the nice shiny new pinion gear here for you to look at. We're going to take a look at that. Now we get down here to the end. And one of the first things we see is this big, let me figure out, do this camera right, this big lip here. And uh, so we can't get the new bushing on. Take a look at that. Uh, there's a lot of, lot of wear, a lot of lip here. Tried to sand, you know. Tried to kind of file the lip off, the, and uh, see if we could save that. But then, when I roll it over here, we're going to look at this keyway. <clears throat> and this keyway, if you look at it, let me uh, put the Mr. Woodruff key in there, which also has a big uh, wang out of it. If you can see it there so we're going to order a new woodruff key but if you take a look here anybody who's familiar with how a woodruff key works uh, you can see right away we have a problem and to kind of illustrate that we're going to put mr pinion gear on and come over here and so that's what the pinion gear would be doing you know driving down the road is hammering away in there and we'd have we'd be back to catastrophic failure fairly quickly so even though the threads are good drive shaft is straight and these areas here and in the front actually mic out okay we have a big groove here where probably a piece of that bushing got caught in there it was spinning around and this thing was hammering the woodruff key in this joint here and is going to continue to do so. <clears throat> so unfortunately, uh, our drive shaft is yard art at this point. Uh, well, you know, maybe we'll make a tomato steak out of it or something. I don't know. But at this point, it is this is not a usable drive shaft. It is a piece of scrap. So uh, back to the interwebs. I'm going to go and order up a drive shaft. And uh, yeah, before long, the only thing original is going to be the tube. I've uh, got the tube all cleaned up, already got the new bushing pressed into the end uh, and fitted. Uh, once this is all done, we'll throw a coat of paint on it, but it cleaned up good and hopefully with no more, no more surprises and we'll be able to get this drive shaft put together. So, walk back down here to the end one more time, take a look, and uh, there's our, all our rear axle parts. We'll talk about those in a later episode. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to give you a quick... 
rundown in the uh, of another one of those wonderful moments in the restoration and reconstruction of a vehicle where you're just like, well, the project I had in mind for tonight is not going any farther because this part that I thought was savable is not. So this is the joy of restoring a 100-year-old vehicle or any vehicle for that matter. And uh, so with that, I'm going to sign off. Remember, you know, check us out, mimths.org. Come by the museum if you're in the Detroit area. Uh, and since I now have to buy another drive shaft, uh, you know, hop on PayPal and send us a donation for our vehicle restoration program. MIMTHS at MIMTHS.org is the uh, is the email that is linked that will send money directly to the museum from PayPal. So uh, with anything else, y'all have a good one.